billionaire and renowned goat wife sarah kabu has sparked some mixed reactions and quite a buzz online with some supporting her sentiments and some against them the statement being a piece of advice directed to the wife of the head of finance to equatorial guinea not sure if he still has the position but this was a piece of advice to the wife of ngonga and she simply was advising the wife not to leave her marriage urging her to calm down and focus on the positive side of her marriage in the past two days, Sarah Kabu has managed to stir a bit of a buzz around her as this wasn't the first sentiment she made in regards to marriage. In another video, she was heard urging ladies to just let their men enjoy themselves and be who they want to be. She dismissed infidelity as simply having fun, urging wives to let their husbands be. While her advice to Ngonga's wife read, no virtuous women should leave her marriage because of cheating. Just be celibate or use protection in the marriage. Someone tell Ngonga's wife to stay calm and enjoy other good things on her marriage. Some women were against her stating that there is a danger, the danger being the spread of STIs. Stay until he brings you an STI. Another person said, never you cheat with split so I can move on without doing the actual cheating, simple as that. You can only stay if you are also unfaithful, no faithful woman can tolerate that it hurts and especially if you truly love that person. Atio Akileta Okimui Suju STI, death is constant, have fun to Mkutane Kwakaburi ama Mkimeza ARV. Seeing that her remark had stirred quite a buzz online, she went ahead to further explain what exactly she meant. You know, what, what, what I was saying is that as a wife, uh, and I, by the way, I receive a lot of virtuous women who come to my office, of course, uh, very heartbroken because maybe they have discovered that husband is cheating. Some are, when you learn how to back a drip or sin. So, for me, what I would say, when a man chooses to cheat, it's his. It's their own personal decision because they know the vows they made with their main spouse. So, so you can you can try to stop them, of course, and you can of course give your stand, but you may not be able to stop them. And the more you try to stop them, the more you get frustrated. So, as as much as Women Foundation, what we do is to now ambia, my sister, Jibane Shubri, Jibane, 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 you know? <laughs> because ukifinda hapo umefocus, oh, hata nimeo na jana, alivaria sweta fulani, sijua alifanya, alifanya, I'm telling you, it will drain you, it will drain you, you will get up, you will end up getting sick. I'm sure you know among people in your circles who've gotten sick being in a, that, such kind of a relationship. Sure. But kuna wengine pia wame survive. When so now this story is uh, going or something. Uh, so apparently rumors are saying the wife is comfortable now with the husband. What's your take as a virtuous woman? Let me, let me tell you my <laughs> Even me, if I was a Gonga's wife, I would not have quitted. Huh? Yes, you know, I'm sure she has somehow had a clue who you to go. I'm gonna be on her. Sasa, Ebony Police and our Toto Sita, Maina, Kuna Toto, Kienda, Wapi. Imagine maybe you've been put up in a very comfortable home, the kids are in comfortable schools, they are enjoying just their current environment. I love to drink a story, Kametokea, Nauko then you may decide to quit. Sasa unatoka, umejipanga aji. You see, kama umejipanga, isawa umezaenda. Some people understood that what she's saying is healing at the crime scene. So instead of focusing on what your husband is doing wrong, you focus on yourself, you take good care of yourself, you keep yourself busy. To just given out the secret of a happy marriage, I agree, nowadays I don't care, just minding my own.
Bitter pill, no one is ready for this convo but ni ukweli. Very heartbreaking sentiments. Kwani, what is it about marriage? Is it like the only title women need? A man having sexual affairs with 400 plus women ndio huyu anaita kasturi kama tokea sijui na wapi huko. She is unknowingly airing her dirty laundry thinking she's giving advice to someone out there. These are clearly things she has gone through in her marriage or is still going through. She is evidently telling us what goes on in her home with Simon. Sarah Kabu is not new to this. She has always been known as the goat wife and people have also always been suspecting that Simon may not be very loyal to her. In fact, there's a photo that was trending some time back last year of Simon having a small good time with Betty Kialo. The two seemed to be in a light moment but we can see Sarah Kabu's reaction and she wasn't pleased. Some wonder if this is what made Sarah Kabu decide that she's not going to be bothered and that she's going to let her man be. I've been your girl Angare. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a like and remember to subscribe for more.